Okay, uh, I'm working out here on my uh, 1998 Ford Explorer. I had a check engine light on. It says the PVC valve. And of course the PVC valve on the 1998 Ford Explorer is way back over here. So it's, you have to come around this way <coughs> to get to it. You can take it up. Uh, it comes apart pretty easy. I want to show you real quick. This is what I'm going to show you. This is it comes on like this. This was on here. This was on here, <coughs> and it comes around here. And hooks on right. This part hooks on right here. Zoom in over here. Come over here. So it's right right in here, but it comes around here. Very. You can reach it barely. Pull it out. And another hose comes around over here. So I thought, I got this out, I pulled this out. This, if you put it in some hot water, and you can pull this loose. Now the problem was getting these hoses off was very, very difficult. So I don't recommend taking these hoses off. Leave them off, take them off over here on the on the manifold on each side. So leave all that on there take this off and you can take this loose now the problem is this valve this hole in here is a little bit different than the uh, well I got this one let me show you this I got this one for my 2000 Ford Explorer I have a 2000 Ford Explorer this is a two, 1998 Ford Explorer so di completely different this valve, the PVC 375 from AutoZone, is just a little metal thing. It's a little bit different. And this is the one I took out of my uh, my 2000 uh, my 2000 Ford Explorer. This black one. This one's the one that's in the 1998. Now, if you look, they're different in the bottom. Their holes are different. The holes different. So I was going to put one of these in and say, "Okay, I'm in good shape." But I thought, you know, apparently there's some difference in here. And if you look down through this one, when you have it set down, you can see a little bit of air gap through from the top. On this one, this is the one that was in the 2000 Ford Explorer. You can look down in it, and you don't see any air gap down through this hole. So I'm not sure how that's uh, made, and the, maybe these little holes are the air gaps instead of the air gap around there. So anyway, they're a little bit different. You know, if you want to, I would go get one of these from a 2000 Ford Explorer and put it on your 1998 and also I understand maybe the 1999 Ford Explorers are the same way. This is the single head over cam uh, 4.0 liter engine. So you might try this. Put it on. This is a two dollar part or two and a half dollar part. This is a 225 EV 225. So you might get that and replace it and you might be good if you want to try it for two bucks you can eat this up in some hot water put that on there so but I was thinking okay do I want to really uh, do this work and get something that might work and might not work so I went ahead and elected to go to the Ford house and I picked up this whole uh, piece that's already built. This piece is uh, was fifty-one dollars for a little PVC valve, which is just like the one that I have. It's a, a one forty EV one forty-seven EV one forty-seven, and I've also seen one that's an EV one forty-seven A. So it's a little bit different. Now the biggest problem is this piece right here it goes around here 
like that. And you can get to this piece, you can get to this piece, you can get to this piece. This piece goes into the back of the motor. So it's very uh, difficult, if not impossible. Well, it's impossible. Let's put it that way. I've already crawled under the car to see if I can take this loose. You can't take it loose from underneath the car. You're going to have to take all of this off to reach this piece and uh, probably have a difficult time even then to get this piece off the back of the motor that goes into the back. So my thinking is, okay, if this hose is good, and I've tried to look at it the best I can with my flashlight looking back this way, to see if it's good. It appears to be good, so I'm going to gamble and take this part apart. This has a little clamp on it, so you can take this off. There's the clamp, taking the clamp off. So now I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, probably I'm going to have to put this in a little warm water and take this off and see how it's been crimped on there a little bit. I don't know if it's crimped on there or burned on there or what. But I'm going to put this in some hot water and attempt to take this hose off. And then I'm going to put this piece with this piece and this piece and this piece back into the old this piece, which is the old rubber that's very, very hard to get to. So I'm going to uh, go in put this in a little warm water see if I can get this loose this twist very easy right here so it's twisting right there but I'm, I need to get this off and then when I get that off I'll have this piece and I can put it on my old hose and then of course I have to drive it I have to disconnect the battery drive it for 150 miles at least they say and then you can uh, see if the check engine light actually goes off. So I, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this on there, put this on there, and uh, drive the 150 uh, miles, and hopefully it, it works. If it doesn't work, then you're going to see a second video telling you, hey, it didn't work, so I had to change this hose because it's still saying check engine light. Neighbor. Hey, okay? doing a YouTube video. Oh, Stay man. tuned for YouTube. YouTube. Man, show him over there. <laughs> there All he right. is, the neighbor checking on the YouTube. Yes. Here we go. All right. Hopefully I get it fixed. Okay, if what's I, wrong with it? Oh, the, I'm changing out the PVC valve. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. All right. All right, see you later. Good luck with the video. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> That's my neighbor stopping by. Uh, anyway, we're going to put that on. So if this works, I'm not doing another video. So if you don't see another video on the 1998 Ford Explorer single head over cam valve, or single overhead cam, not valve, anyway, that means it worked. And this video will help you. Uh, but anyway, the, I'm going to show you one more time over here. Come over this way. Where that, where this hose is. Come over on this side. Right here. It's very difficult to see, but I'm going to try to point it out right here with this. Oh, this little tool right here. Uh, it's right, right down in here. And it has a little clamp, similar to this other clamp, that you're going to have to kind of hold it to push that PVC valve in here. Here's the other hose. I haven't taken it off yet. So, you know, you can actually get to it uh, from here, but it's still going to be a little bit of a, a challenge. So, anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Let me put this on there and... Uh, then I'll, I'll get it on there, and then I'll show you it's on there, and then uh, then you'll know that, yep, it either worked or it didn't work. So, okay, thank you. 
I got a pot of hot water here, so I'm putting this in there. <clears throat> I've got it heating up the water. It's not boiling or nothing. I got my finger in there. It's warm. Well, it's pretty warm. So I'm putting it all in there just to see if I can get that loose. I'm not going to overdo it. And of course, I got it. I don't want to. So I'm going to give it a little bit there. See if I can take this loose. Of course, it's not getting loose, so I'm going to put it back in there a little bit more. Give it a little more time. I just had it in there for a little bit. <clears throat> I don't really want to put a screwdriver under there and dig underneath it and give it a lot of loosening up, which I could. But then I may run it, and then I can't use it if I have to use it later. So I'm trying to do it without damaging the uh, component. So I've got the water still getting hot. It's hot enough to where you can put your finger in there for just a, a little bit. It's not boiling. Okay, so I've left this in here probably about five minutes. And this water is, is pretty hot. I can hold my finger in there uh, two or three seconds. So let's see. Kind of wiggle it a little bit. Came right out. So. Anyway. So there it is. We got it loose. So now we're ready to put this piece on and uh, hook her up. Some of these hoses are pretty hard to get off, so I'm using a little tool like this to get up underneath the hose to kind of loosen it up, and then I can pull it right off. So there it is right there. Pulled it off, and I'm going to take it back out that way. These little tools are, uh, I don't know what they're called, but anyway, you can get them at Harbor Tool for 2 or $3. So. Okay, so there, there's this hose coming out this way. It feeds through there. Very. This one's got a little, it's been rubbed around on. It's not, uh, it's not wore through, so, but still. Anyway, we're going to put the new one on there. Where'd the new one go? Here it is, right here. So we're going to put it in back in there. We're going to... I'm going to push it around this way. So that it goes down in there. And there we go. Feeding it back around this way. this thing there it is so hook it back on this one so you see it right back in here so we got to get it down in that other hose so the old clamp is there so we're going to move that around and try to get the clamp so let me get in there because I don't have enough room for a camera and and me okay can you zoom into it right there <clears throat> okay so see I, I put the clamp this was the original clamp can you zoom in right on top of it see the yeah there it is Okay, see that clamp? I clamped it down on the hose because that's where the clamp was before. That's the original clamp. So I've clamped that onto the new PVC valve, but that's still the old uh, bottom hose. So anyway, let's uh, finish hooking it up. And of course, like I said, if this works, there's not going to be another video. So if it does... Uh, Great, you did a good job, and hopefully your car will be in good shape too. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day. 
and keep walking with Jesus.